Hey everybody, welcome back to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald, and this is my son Jonah. Well, it's raining today on the homestead, but we got a few chores to do, as we do every day on the homestead. Right, Jonah? Yeah. Yeah. He's not feeling it today because it's raining. Anyhow, follow along. All right, one of the things that we're doing here is we have these brushes on chains. And uh, uh, we're going to be uh, just attaching them to the water spigot here. Uh, so we always know where our brush is at for uh, uh, cleaning uh, water bowls and stuff like that. Right, Jonah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we know where that brush. Now we know where that brush is always going to be at. Can you say hi to Thunder? Say hi, Thunder. <laughs> oh, hey, he smells like a wet dog. Well, it is raining. That's why. Let's check on the pigs. There's Miss Piggy. How's Miss Piggy? 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 Make sure that all the way on it. Here's the boys. Bacon and sausage. Or tea pig and something, I don't know. Hamlet. Hamlet. Yeah, no, we can't do bacon because you do it for the last one. <laughs> I didn't name them. Jonah did. Actually, no, I didn't name them. <laughs> well, who did? It was Mom and Meemaw. Mom and Meemaw named them. So, okay. Got it on his authority. Let's go see the chickens. Oh, we got one nesting. Two right there. Those are fake eggs. All right, so we got another hydrant closer to the well house. So I have two water hydrants on the property. This was the original one I installed. Yeah. Now we know where this is always at. Why are you doing why are we doing this, you may ask? Well, whenever you move a water hose around and something's on the ground next to it, sometimes the item that's on the ground goes with it. We got a bit of a problem here with this tractor. Well, especially with the rotary cutter. So Leah went out and did some work this weekend and uh, I got to looking at it and I see that this pin is kind of out of angle as compared to the other one over there. And I know exactly why. What happened is this nut right here worked its way off. Uh, a while back, and I think there's a bushing in this one. So we're going to disconnect the the we're going to disconnect the the uh, quick hitch here, so we can take this pin off. But first, we need to find the part number for that bushing. I think this tube right here holds the manual. I think this tube right here holds the manual. Sure does. Here's the manual. So I pulled the manual out of the tube for the rotary cutter. And I found that it's but a diagram of the parts of the trip of the rotary cutter, right? So looking right here. I see the part that I'm missing. The only problem is, is the the only problem is, is that this mangle doesn't have the parts list, like what that 
actual part number is. I mean, I went through here, left and right, and I actually found where there is a splitted diagram of another part on the tractor. And it actually lists all the part numbers for it. Let's see if I can find it again. Right here, so here's a splitted diagram of what's underneath the deck, and here is the actual part list and the part number for it, and what the part is called, and what the number that's up here correlates to. So it's missing the table. It's missing the table of what the part list, of the part list. Land pride, come on. All right, well, let's get, let's get this thing detached from the tracker. So what we got here, this is an adapter. It takes a category one up to a category three um, uh, hitch, uh, you know, hitch. This is a, this is a category three. Um, the quick hitch attachment that we got on the back of the tractor, which is this. This is a category three quick hitch. It actually says cat one on it. But it requires cat three pins. I'm not sure about the numbering on that. I think it, I think it's made to attach to a category one tractor is what that meant is meant. And it requires category three uh, bushings to be put on the category one pins. But what it's missing, so in there, when it's inside there. There is a gap all the way around this. I mean, all the way around it. And there's supposed to be a bushing that goes around this that fits in the opening on the rotary cutter. So now I got to figure out what that part number is and see if I can get it from Land Pride, Kubota, whoever. What happened is it, it, this whole thing fell off one day while mowing and we had to uh, put it back together and we did, we put it back together and uh, we didn't realize that it was missing the bushing. There's routine maintenance that you have to do to your equipment. One of them is greasing all the areas that need to be greased. You have to do this every so many hours. So we ran out of grease and mommy had to go get us some. But we uh, just got a new tube. So you don't want to waste that. So here, go put that in the trash can. After you pop the top of the grease can, pull this bottom piece off also. This bottom piece, there's nothing in there. So, you open up your grease gun, set that in there. Close this back up. Put the plunger back. There you go. That's spring loaded. There's a plunger in there that's spring loaded. That pushes the grease up. All right, so now we are we're greasing all these fittings on the tractor. Okay. 
Where do we leave off over there on the other side? Uh, okay. So Jonah's going to finish the other zerts on the other side of there. There's other zerts that we have to grease. Some are here, some are here, and some a little bit further back. Well, that's about it for today, the, this, this week. I mean, uh, this, uh, over, the, over the course of this weekend, you know, uh, Leah had her mowing gigs. Uh, I helped her out with uh, one of them, or actually both of them. But um, uh, Jonah did too. He, uh, he helps uh, his mom out with these mowing gigs, a lot of them. Right? Yeah. Does she pay you? Yeah. Does she pay you good? I would think so. Okay. He thinks so. All right. Well, I'll get back with you on the repair of the uh, rotary cutter here and uh, let you know how that goes. If we can get that part in pretty quick to get that rotary cutter repaired. But other than that, I would like to ask you to please like this video. Give it a big what? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Subscribe and... Press the notification bell. Press that notification bell. So uh, you'll get notified every time we uh, upload a new video. And share to friends. Share it with your friends. Please do that. I would love it if you shared this with your friends. Uh, and they can follow us along our homesteading adventures that we have. So uh, please, uh, please listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. He's a YouTuber. <laughs> All right. We're going to clean up and get done. Talk to y'all later.